Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or turn it heaven. When a grown adult person is expecting to make a living, he must have clothing that fits him appropriately. What I'm understanding is that people in my family has violated federal law, infiltrated my security office, and openly taken my clothing. I had a contract with that organization, just my name, and on the back of the contract I signed in my legal heir. It has nothing to do with how I signed my name. It is not the point that a contract remains a contract under federal law, regardless of whether you are here or there. That's the point of a storage unit. At the same time, who pays the bill has no liability is not true. Who pays the bill has no legal rights to the contents. You see, this is something that people are really struggling with to understand that financial abuse is alive and well in many families that go through struggles and downturns due to the economy, due to personal or private losses, and due to this time of COVID and pandemic. When I make these recordings, I expect my recordings to be left the fuck alone. Nobody owns my community, nobody owns my business but me. My business is not liable for the things that I opinion as a columnist or journalist. No one has the right to interfere with the reporter's reporting is what we know underneath the First Amendment. And openly, I am an officially degreed and trained journalist. I don't have to complain it, I apologize, I do not have to proclaim it every single minute. How a man makes his living is by making observations and sharing them in various ways. Risk management is something a person can do no matter what their industry is. Most industries have quality assurance standards and benchmarking practices. The morons of a community refuse to pick up a book, go to the library, and start learning things for their own lives. The bitches of a community think they own a man, and that is slavery. We abolished slavery a really long time ago, but there seems to be people who want to own a white man in our community and they don't, yet they continue to play the financial abuse game. I'm going to slip you $5, I'm going to slip you $4, but then I'm going to take something from you. I'm going to take your clothing, I'm going to take your microphone, I'm going to take your headphones, I'm going to take your beard off, and let me tell you, motherfuckers, everything you've done is a violation of federal law. Here's our problem, though, in America. What a police officer will say was, so what? That theft happens every day in America and say, yes, because you failed to do your job. You see, petty theft leads to more grand larceny, and grand larceny leads to more violence. And more violence leads to things like sexual assault, rape, abuse, and more violence. And sometimes, well, the loss of life. Now, what we know about people today is they are intolerant of inactive and not proactive people. What I know about my life is that I get up exceptionally early to do my work. Sometimes 2 in the morning, sometimes 3 in the morning, sometimes 4 in the morning. Because overseas, the, build, the world is booming and moving. I do not have to explain to any little bitch retail employee of your company what I do for a living. I also do not have to be tolerant of any person of diversity that has no tolerance for me or my lifestyle. You see, being homeless is not a lifestyle choice. Being homeless came about by abuse that people played out in my life. Being homeless and harassed by police came about by a woman lying to police about me, and then another one deciding to use the story she heard only in private to harm me. Both of those females are completely and fully liable for the abuse that I have experienced. But then if we add to the mix that biological siblings in their infinite wisdom, just thought that the best way to kill my life was to keep screwing me with litigation abuse. And I can tell you, the gaslighting that they've done in their own lives will blow up in their face. That's usually what happens when people lie, steal, and cheat someone out of their property goods or their possessions or their legal and legalized paperwork. I do not have to keep producing a legal name. It is not true. But when someone keeps getting onto my computers, I know that it could be two or three people in my family, if not all four of the late biological siblings in my life or their significant others. 
because they're the ones who looted my storage unit. When I say looted, at what point did I ever ask them to work on my behalf? At no time have I ever asked any human being to do that for me. My late spouse might have been able to do that, and she is Japanese, but she would have gone to my late father and asked him for a little help to work it through with whoever the person is. But when someone presumes to have the right to take over a relationship that is a personal rent or a personal debt or a borrowing of funds and interfere with that content and that contact, that individual is fully liable under the law, not under, un, only under elder care laws, but also underneath the concept of an ombudsman that can totally research the behavior of someone who's a manager of elderly funds. A manager of elderly funds' responsibility is to solely and singularly pay the bills. A manager of elderly funds is not typically one that is needed or required to assess someone's situation and interfere with someone else's relationships with a bank or with any of their creditors in which they pay bills to. I had a sibling that interfered with the payment promised by me or promised to me by an elderly person and as a result my bank account got closed because the person who was expecting the $100 payment could not receive it and therefore it created a whole bunch of pings and overdrafts on my account and then the bank without my consent or permission not only did not inform me but closed the account so when I live in my world I live in a world of cash and I live myself in the day to day but I am very aware that there are white women and some matronly black women who will provide someone a cash payment so that later in the night when someone is asleep they can either sexually assault them by cutting off their beard or do perverted things in front of their cell phones to them. It is immoral how they've behaved. It is illegal in a way, or is it fully illegal? Because we do not allow sexual assault on anyone today. And yet when it happens to a man, nobody wants to believe it. What I can tell you is that police officers did indeed sexually assault me in jail. And what I can also tell you is that they tied my beard, which is secondary sex characteristics, in a knot without my consent while I slept. There were several Muslims in that situation who had no right to touch my mail, and yet they were coming to me asking me about things that were a part of my mailbox situation from another, another city, and I sat there wondering who the motherfuck pretended to be me in identity theft and moved my mail to a jail. What kind of moron would do that? At the same time, I did not provide my whereabouts or my location as a full-fledged adult to anyone because I knew it would not benefit me. But somehow, my siblings became aware of it, which means they set me up to fuck my life. And I really don't care who hears of it. If you know one of my siblings, tough shit. But most of them are late in my life to me because they are older than me, stupid in many ways about the law, and feel that their opinions and their rights are above mine in this situation of me, and that is not true. I'm going to continue to tell the stories of how they have filed their abuse in their way, but what I know from Lord Jesus and the things I've read in terms of Wiccan and Pagan way, that every human being experiences karma. And in my case, I don't need karma from people who lie at me, steal from me, or pretend to know me. I get really tired of people who pretend to know me. You may have known me five or ten years ago, but that doesn't mean you know me now. You may know of me. You may be listening to me. But you have no right under the federal laws of our land to claim that you represent me in any of my intellectual property content or any of my copywritten work. And I expect that when I go to figure out who the fuck has my storage unit contents, that I will absolutely see everything I own. Because if one of my intellectual property drives any of my terabyte drives are missing, I will completely fully blame the police and I will raise an army to get rid of them. Not out of any killings, but I will fu fully vote against them. I will fully initiate a campaign in the political market to de deplete them. And we already have a defund the police campaign. And let me tell you, if they were doing everything right, not trying to live righteously, 
we would actually be safer in America.